When is an ant not a bee, but a wasp? Silly question? Not really. Ants, bees and wasps are closely related. They all sting, for one thing. And this one is known as a blue ant, but is in fact a wingless wasp. Let's put it down where you can see it as well as me. You see why it's called a blue ant? It's the most beautiful metallic blue and it scuttles around just like an ant. But, in fact, it is a wingless wasp. And wingless for a very good reason. It spends a lot of its time burrowing. And wings are no good to you if you uh, spend your life under the soil. At least not if you're an active predator like this one. Because what it's seeking under the soil is the prey to lay its eggs in. It scuttles around like this, and uh, right about spring, and uh, it's looking for two things. One is a mate, and the other, once it's been mated, is a mole cricket to lay its eggs in. Well, the mate, surprisingly enough, is a very rare creature, but we've got one here for you to see. That's the male. You really wouldn't know it was the same species at all. It's a small thing, with wings, rather drab colour, and I know it's the mate of the female because I found them in the process of mating, and I captured them like that. And that proves, really, that that is the same species. He's really not uh, terribly adventurous, and in fact, he's quite rare in scientific collections, but we've got one here. Once he's mated with her, she goes scuttling around, trying to find the right sort of place to lay her eggs. And like most wasps, she's very particular. She's looking for a special kind of grub. And many wasps will lay their eggs into uh, beetle larvae, but she's looking for a mole cricket, which I haven't been able to find, like her, but I got one out of the museum, and this is a mole cricket. Let's take it off its stem and show you what it's like. A mole cricket because it burrows. And because it burrows, it's got these very specialised front legs. You can see them, strong and shovel-like. And it digs great holes in the soil, especially through uh, things like rotting compost. And it makes its little burrow there, and it sings. And the song is very peculiar, because when you hear a mole cricket, it's quite loud, but you can't tell where the sound is coming from. And so it escapes birds that way. They can't locate it. It doesn't escape the wasp. She goes looking for it, and she, by some sort of means we don't yet understand, can find the mole cricket, and she goes down the burrow and hauls him out. Well, I can't show you it hauling out a mole cricket, but I can show you what it's like when it burrows. And here we go. Have a look at this. You can see how well she burrows using those big red forelegs, throwing the soil aside and getting down into the dirt. If she were to find a mole cricket, she would haul it out of its burrow, turn it on its back, paralyse it by putting the sting into the nerve centre of the cricket, and then lay her eggs inside it. Because it's a characteristic of wasps, that they can put the eggs into a living prey, which is living but paralysed, and as the young wasps hatch, they eat the prey while it's alive. Not too good for the prey, but very good for the wasps. She's not going to find one, you know that and I know that, and so she'll probably come out backwards. Here she comes. And round she goes, and she'll probably try again. Let's turn the jar around so we can see. And here she goes, new burrow. In fact, even if she doesn't find a cricket, she'll probably stay under the ground, because the bright lights of the studio here are a bit much for her, and these wasps can live under the ground quite happily for, uh, well, days on end. But we won't let her do quite that yet. We want to have one last look. Let's haul it out. And you'll notice I'm taking a lot of care not to get my fingers near her. Very beautiful, very interesting, but really quite dangerous. These wasps have one of the nastiest stings that you can find amongst wasps. So if you see one, observe it by all means, document what you can see, because there's much about their life cycle we don't understand, but don't touch it, because the sting is really very nasty. Mm -hmm.